Good morning, everyone. This is Justin Harrison. Hope you are all well. Um, we'd just like to do a quick audio check before we get started. If the audio is coming through loud and clear for you, uh, would you please find a little hand icon there on your control panel and raise your hand for me in the virtual world. Raise your hand and that will be just as if you were sitting here physically in front of me raising your hand. It's uh, kind of fun that way. Uh, looks like uh, lots of hands going up, so sound is working free and clear. I always like to do that, even though the technology says that it's working, I still like to confirm it because uh, more than once I have spoken to groups um, <laughs> for a while with no one actually hearing anything I said. So uh, it's always nice to, to make sure that the tech is working, especially in this new era that we all find ourselves living in. Uh, so interesting, so, so very interesting, everything that's going on. Uh, by way of introduction, my name is Justin Harrison, and my wife Carrie and I are the very, very first wellness advocates with doTERRA some 12 years ago, actually. Next month uh, will be our 12-year anniversary since uh, starting this amazing journey that is doTERRA. And it's, it's really been an extraordinary 12 years. And we're super excited for the next 12 years, quite honestly. And as I've been thinking and observing and spending more time at home, which has actually been a wonderful blessing for us, um, and kind of looking and reminiscing at things and how they were in doTERRA back in the beginning, it, it's interesting to just reflect. Most of you probably weren't part of our company way back then. Um, it's interesting to reflect on the fact that doTERRA was started in that nasty um, recession that we had back in 2008, 2009. And there was a lot of struggle and a lot of difficulty for many people. And it was in that time period that the company was started. And people told us we were crazy. They told us we shouldn't do it, that now's not the time to start a business or to open a company or start a new venture. And lots of people told us that, many, many. In fact, the majority of people told us that. And we did it anyway, you know, we did it anyway, because we actually found out that um, it was the best time, right? It was the very, very best time to start because not only were people looking for an opportunity, right? People were looking for something to do as a side hustle to generate extra income, uh, something to do to supplement their income, right? Or even replace their income. Uh, that was a huge thing, right? So timing was really great there. And th not only that, they were also really in need of our product um, as we find ourselves in the current day that we're in. Um, definitely, there has never been a time of greater need for a product. I feel like that need's been there every single day, actually. But but based on observation and, and how people are reacting today community-wide, worldwide, I think our timing uh, for our product is phenomenal because people are definitely looking and in need and should economic pressures increase, which it kind of appears that they are from an outset, then people are going to be looking for ways to, to increase or supplement their income or have a side business. And so both of these scenarios are going to be really, really fabulous for doTERRA. But I just want to make sure that we, we don't come from a place of fear um, fear is a choice, and so is faith, right? And fear and faith cannot uh, coexist at the same time. And so um, it, it uh, is definitely a choice and something that we have to choose against and realize that faith will take us to far greater places than fear ever could. And so as we talk to, to people and to medical experts and the owners of doTERRA, and we are all very optimistic and very encouraged by where things are moving and how things are going and just super excited for the future. So we are going to move forward absolutely in a place of faith for what is to come. Um, quick question as we're jumping into the, the webinar this morning and we're gonna talk about a couple of different things and, and we'll share at the end what we're gonna talk about the rest of the week. Um, how many of you, raise your hand if this is your very first webinar, if you would please. Just for my own curiosity, uh, raise your hand, the little hand icon that you have there on your screen. If this is your very first webinar, uh, doTERRA webinar with us, I'm just kind of curious. There's quite a few of you on the live session today. Wow, looks like a big number of you. This is your first one. Awesome. Okay, thanks, guys. We're going to put your hands down now. It's good that you've learned how to... Uh, do the uh, raise your hand button because that's going to come into play um, 
a little bit later on in the session this morning. So very, very cool. Okay, so uh, just some basics for those of you that are newer. Uh, what is an essential oil? You can look at this. I'm not going to give you the scientific explanation of what an essential oil is, you know, that they're lipid soluble mixtures, aromatic compounds obtained from plants. Well, there you go. I gave it to you anyway. Um, my definition is that um, this is a super concentrated liquid version of the plant and uh, very potent and very powerful. And we appreciate the purpose that the oils have and what they do. And they are sourced uh, literally from all over the world. Now, uh, this has really come into question the last few weeks because of the conditions in the world today. And, and just so that you all can see, it's uh, that we are a global company and we do source our oils. This is an image of where many of our oils are sourced from throughout the world through our global botanical network and our co-impact sourcing model. Um, this is just a snapshot, actually. It's not even all of our oils, but it does give you a glimpse. And, and we work with these different producers and growers in all of the different countries that you see here to produce a quality that's unsurpassed and that meets uh, doTERRA standards, right? Because we want to make sure that they are, more than anything, safe and that they're effective and that they are going to be uh, viable for you and for me and for our families. And so uh, as far as sourcing goes and our um, availability of oils, doTERRA is almost been preparing for a current situations worldwide today. Um, it seems like it's been that way. We have a great stockpile of inventory. There may be things here and there that might be pressured a little bit based on global demands. Um, for example, the On Guard products have been strained a little bit as uh, they've been incredibly popular the last uh, few weeks, but those are coming back online very, very quickly here in the next few days, I hear. So um, that's excellent news. Um, but more than anything, as we source our oils worldwide, we want to make sure that they will um, conform to our mark of purity, which is called CPTG, Certified Pure Therapeutic Grade. It means that these oils have been tested over 50 different ways to have no contamination, no fillers, no adulteration, nothing added, nothing taken away, no microbial agents present, no herbicides, pesticides, um, all of that. It tells us that it's safe for us to use at home in an aromatic sense. Um, aromatic use is very popular and very effective. Putting essential oils in a diffuser puts those compounds into the air and we can receive the both the emotional and physical and psychological benefits of breathing in those amazing aromas. And right now, as a lot of us are spending more time at home, it would definitely be a recommendation to be diffusing uh, continually in most of the rooms, if not all of the rooms of the house, uh, just to create that support uh, at the home for those that are, are there throughout the day. So aromatic is our first use, internal is our second use. Because of the CPTG standard uh, that doTERRA represents, we're able to use the essential oils internally like a natural food supplement to help support the different systems of the body. You can do this by adding it to a beverage. You can put it directly under your tongue. You can make your own capsules if you'd like and take them that way. It really is just a manner of preference. And the third way we use the oils is topically. And this is one of my favorite ways. It's actually been shown to be one of the fastest ways to get the essential oils into the bloodstream um, because the molecular weight of the oil is such that it absorbs, it's called lipophilic, they're fat soluble. They absorb through the tissues of the skin very, very quickly and directly into the bloodstream. And so there's great benefit here. Um, those of you that know me know that I have uh, a large family. We have nine children, nine sons, all boys. And uh, that's right, nine sons, all boys. And we're using a lot of oils at home, mostly because school has been canceled and they're home. <laughs> and they're going to be home for who knows how long. And so we're using a lot of oils on the parents, mostly. Uh, I'm just kidding. We, well, we are, but also on the children just to keep everybody happy and healthy and, and moving forward. So uh, topical use of the oils is great on all of the family members. And really our goal is to change the world one drop, one person, one community at a time uh, with the power and effect of the oils. And, and we want to empower our, our growers, right, our farmers, 
throughout the world and reward them for producing the oil that we need in the manner that we need it so that it meets the CPTG purity standard. We want to empower them to be able to do that, empower all of our partners that are involved in the production of a doTERRA essential oil or product in any way, shape, or form so that we can empower each other. And, and this as a parent of nine children, or if you're a parent of one child, or even if you're not a parent, you have family, you have friends, um, it empowers us to be able to have options. And this is what I really appreciate, is that we have the options um, to really help support our health care in our own hands uh, rather than having to run uh, to the medical system. And I'm not against the medical system. We obviously need it, uh, but it is overused and abused at times. And so if we can manage it on our own, uh, then we definitely should do that first and reserve uh, medical care for uh, the final resort if needed. So, so overall, the doTERRA difference, if people ask, well, you know, there's a lot of essential oils out there in the marketplace today. Um, what's the difference? Really, it's everything that you see here. It's the focus on purity with certified pure therapeutic grade, our source to you um, initiatives, which is documenting that purity on a scientific level, our co-impact sourcing model, which is our ability to work in areas of the world that are often impoverished and change those communities forever because of their ability to produce those crops for us. The, our Healing Hands Foundation, which is doTERRA's um, charity, it's our charitable efforts throughout the world, and we could talk for hours just on this alone. Amazing. And then doTERRA Healthcare, which is our medical initiatives documenting and validating the use of the oils medically and scientifically um, to be able to present that to the world. And so all of this is the doTERRA difference, but ultimately in a nutshell, what it boils down to is this, my friends, the oils work. Um, they work, <laughs> they work. So, and you're gonna hear some of that here in just a few moments. So what I wanna jump into really quickly this morning is an image that probably many of you have seen before. If you haven't seen this, you'll start to notice it more and more as you look around. And this is the doTERRA wellness lifestyle pyramid. And these six areas of healthcare um, are all incredibly important. And you can see there the foundation is eating right. Um, yeah, <laughs> the big surprise there, that old saying that you are what you eat. Well, it's kind of true. Um, definitely, definitely true, actually. So. Uh, that's the foundation and then exercise is very important movement is very important rest and managing stress reducing toxic load now all of these are lifestyle choices you see the down arrow there through those four categories these are how we live our day-to-day -day lives okay what we eat how much movement do we get are we getting sleep are we getting a, a rest are we managing our stress uh, are we reducing our toxic load meaning the products we're using we're putting in us and on us, are they as toxic free as possible? Realizing that it isn't always realistic to be a completely toxin free in our modern world, but if we can reduce it and minimize it as much as possible, then that's a definite win. And then we cross over into healthcare when if we do become ill or have an issue, then we have informed self-care, which is what are we doing ourselves to help the body, to, to equip the body to manage uh, our recovery? And then if we need to, if that doesn't do it, if that doesn't give us enough, then we go into a proactive medical care model, which is when you're going to head to meet with your physician and other medical care experts to, to get advice and, and suggestions on what we should be doing, right? And so um, that is the doTERRA wellness lifestyle. And I want to focus, uh, the section we're gonna talk on today, we're gonna focus on that blue segment there in the middle the rest and managing stress. Uh, and I chose to start this week with that because there's a lot of stress going on, oh my goodness. If you wanna get stressed out, just turn on the news for two minutes and you'll get your stress meters right up there for the day. Um, and, and there's just a lot of kind of craziness going on, right? And so um, I wanna talk about stress, I wanna talk about sleep. In fact, I, I found this great image uh, to, to look at what are some of the effects of sleep deprivation, right? Because uh, all the traveling I've done throughout the world, uh, as I ask groups of people, how many of you know someone that have a difficulty sleeping, um, almost every single hand will go up. And I can have 500 people in the room and literally we'll get like 495 hands, right? E if it's them personally or just someone in their family or someone they know, um, there is long-term health benef uh, benefits, health challenges 
that can be associated to our lack of sleep, right? A few years ago at our annual convention, we had several sleep experts spend uh, quite a bit of time talking about how sleep or a lack of sleep uh, can affect us and how good sleep can affect us as well, right? So you see pictured here some of the um, effects of sleep deprivation, right? And probably you've read through this already and maybe marked off those that apply to you or to someone you know. And we have a great variety of essential oils and other products that help people to relax, to feel more calm, to be able to just kind of take it a notch or two down and to be able to sleep or, or get to sleep or stay asleep or just get a better quality of sleep, right? And my favorite uh, product here, and this is one we're going to talk about just for a moment, is the Serenity Restful Complex. And we have the Serenity Oil Blend as well, uh, which is a fabulous blend of essential oils that do help you to relax and calm down. But I appreciate this supplement. You can see there that it's a little tiny golden soft gel. And, uh, and actually, guys, I do not have a problem sleeping personally. In fact, quite the opposite. Those that know me very well know that once I lay down and I, I have like a two-minute timer when my head hits the pillow and I'm gone. And so for me, falling to sleep is not an issue at all. But what this has done for me is uh, if I know that I'm only going to be able to have a limited amount of sleep, you know, maybe I've got to get up early uh, for a flight or whatever, um, I can take the Serenity Complex and it will help me to have, I mean, four hours may feel like six or seven hours, right? And so that's what it's done for me. Uh, but I cannot tell you the countless stories from people that I've experienced uh, on how this has helped them uh, to be able to fall asleep and stay asleep. And so you have lavender essential oil in there, which is very well known for helping people uh, to relax. Uh, German chamomile as well, passion flower, lemon balm. Uh, L-theanine is something I want to just highlight before we open it to all of you all for um, any product experiences you'd like to share. L-theanine is an, an amino acid, and you can Google this and really get uh, some fabulous information, but it helps to elevate levels of GABA in the body, and we're going to talk more about GABA here in a moment. Uh, it also helps with serotonin and dopamine levels. These are all neurotransmitters, guys, that work in the brain to help regulate emotions, mood, concentration, alertness, sleep, appetite, energy, and other cognitive skills. And so this is a really, really important amino acid. Um, helps to lower levels of excitatory brain chemicals. At the same time, it's increasing chemicals that promote feelings of calm. It also helps to reduce levels of chemicals in the brain that are linked to stress and anxiety. So, so L-theanine is awesome. And here it is at a therapeutic level in the Serenity Restful Complex. And so um, what I'd like to do right now is uh, open it to you guys. If you have an experience that you would like to share, we're going to attempt this. Uh, we're going we're gonna to come and unmute you. Uh, if you would like to raise your hand, if you have, uh, we've got time for maybe two or three of these great stories. If you want to raise your hand, then we'll, we'll try and come and unmute your line. So let's, uh, let's start with <laughs> lots of you raising their hands. Hold up, hold up. Okay, let's try Patty. Patty Peterson. Can you hear us? Yes, I can. Hear you. Uh, awesome, can you Patty. Hear me? Welcome to the call. Please share. I'm so curious about this because I have, with heart medications, one of the side effects is anxiety and insomnia. So I have always had trouble sleeping, not falling asleep as much as staying asleep. And I noticed that when I started taking Serenity uh, soft gels, that my dreams are hugely vivid. And sometimes yes. a little crazy. Can you have you heard anybody else talk about this? I have actually. It actually is very common uh, because you're getting a deeper sleep, right? Ah. Uh, you're, you're getting into that REM sleep uh, sooner and longer, and so it is a common uh, experience for people to have. Um, I like to call it 3D Technicolor dreams. <laughs> Uh, yes, they sure are, <laughs> and I'm always I've always been a dreamer, and it, it's really interesting because some of them are like I'm really making my own movie seriously, and uh, whatever that is called, where you are actively making choices within your own dream. Wow, lucid dreaming, I think they call it. It's it's nuts. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad I'm not the only one. 
No, you're not the only one. It's very common. So I'm going to sell it to Hollywood, as a matter of no, fact. <laughs> no, need to, yeah, no need to be concerned. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's great. Thanks for sharing, Patty. Uh, okay, let's try... Um, dun, dun, dun. We'll go to Judith. Judith Wade. Hi, Hi Judith. Hi. Um, this is a little bit um, not the norm, but I use my capsules um, during the daytime for to keep keep me calm so that I found out my blood pressure tends to get elevated because of anxiety. So for me, it helps to keep me calm through the, throughout the day whenever I feel that I might be getting a little bit anxious. And that is how I use my Serenity capsules. Awesome. Well, that's a great, um, thanks Judith. That's a great reminder that it doesn't necessarily have to be at night. Uh, this is not Valium, guys. It doesn't knock you out, right? It's not that you're going to take this and you're going to pass out in 20 minutes. Uh, it's not a medication. And so you could take this during the day, just like Judith recommended, to help just calm down, you know, if, if, that's, uh, if that's what you're needing, right? Okay, let's do one more. Um, let's go to uh, Lane Adams. Lane, are you there? Lane, going once? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, there you are. Okay, welcome to the call. Great, thanks. Uh, yeah, I am a great sleeper. I have what I say call the gift of sleep. However, <laughs> I, yeah, I just do. I have the gift of sleep. But, however, I felt like, okay, I need to try these because I want to be able to share them with people and have an experience myself. And what I notice is even as a great sleeper, I definitely notice a deeper sleep. I actually dream, um, but I don't because I normally don't dream even though I sleep well. And I feel more rested in the morning. So I just have this sense of a deeper sleep. So for me, they really are great. Right, exactly. It, uh, that's, that's kind of what it does for me as well. We, I have that same gift as you. <laughs> Yay. It's a, it's, my, my, it really is a gift. <laughs> it, it is. And, and my wife doesn't like it sometimes though, because, you know, she wants to talk. And oh, uh, yeah. if, I, if my head hits the pillow, it's just over. I'm done. Same um, here. <laughs> of course, I do, I do wake up at 5 a.m. in the morning, too, to exercise. And, and so that could play part of that role, right? So, okay. Well, thank you, ladies, the three of you for sharing. If um, the three of you, if you wouldn't mind... Uh, if you would send me an email, my email address is doterradiamond at gmail.com. Okay, doterradiamond at gmail.com. If you will send me an email, I will have my assistant send you a bottle of Serenity Complex. Thank you, thank you. Free of charge, of course, just for contributing today. So send that email and we'll get that over to you. Okay, um, we're going to put all those, those hands down and we're going to move on because uh, sleep is critical, and so is our feelings of anxiousness and anxiety. And even prior to all of this craziness going on these last few weeks, uh, even before that, stress levels and anxiety levels were really, really high. Um, and anxiety is normal. It's part of life, right? But sometimes it is... A lot, right? It can be overwhelming and feel overwhelming. And, and, and persistent stress does change your biochemistry. You know, it messes with your cortisol levels and adrenaline levels and, and even your psychological functioning of key body systems, physiological functioning of key body systems, you know, like your immune, digestive, muscular, and, and reproductive system and, and whatnot. And so we got to get it under control. And the reason we're starting this week, because the, the rest of the week we are going to focus more on the immune system and other products that we can use to support different areas of the body. But where we started this week with talking about stress and anxiety, because I think it's gone up a little bit. <laughs> it's gone up a little bit in the last few days, and uh, some people are handling it great, some are not handling it so well. <clears throat> and this is a huge opportunity for you and I to really get out there and share what it is that's going on and, and the different options that we have available. And so those of you that are at convention last year, year, you saw the release of a new product line called Adaptive, and this has become, I have it sitting here in front of me, it has become a carry with me at all times oil. I absolutely love the aroma. I love the smell. I love how it makes me feel. 
and we have it available in three different forms, right? We have the adaptive oil, the 15 ml oil, and the adaptive roll-on, the touch, which you see them both here. And we're going to talk about the differences here in a second. Basically, the touch line is, is the same adaptive oil just diluted in a base of coconut oil, right? And then we also have, <clears throat> excuse me, we have the adaptive uh, soft gel as well, right? So this is a great slide that was created by one of our leaders in doTERRA uh, to kind of distinguish between the two, and then we'll, we'll go a little bit deeper. So the oil blend itself is a combination of lavender, magnolia, neroli, uh, sweet gum, wild orange, spearmint, copaiba, which is one of my all-time favorites, and rosemary. So this is your soothing, uplifting, stress relief blend. So the roll-on is going to be great applied topically on the shoulders, on the wrists, on the neck, right under the nose. Really, you can put the, the touch blend anywhere um, on the body, and it's very, very gentle and very soothing. The oil itself is fabulous diffused, um, or put a few drops on your pillow, massage on the bottom of the feet. Um, all of these are meant to have a direct impact because the aroma Remember, when we breathe in essential oils and those molecules go through the, the nasal cavity, they go directly through the olfactory bulb in the brain and have an immediate, fairly immediate impact on the limbic system of the body, so behavior, thought, emotion. And so that's the topical application or aromatic application of the oil. Now, the adaptive soft gel, the supplement, um, this is a little bit of a different formula. Some of the same oils, right? You have lavender again and also coriander, wild orange, fennel, and then a couple of new ingredients that are new to most of us, the selenium root and the gaba, and also some ahi flower. And ahi flower is a really great um, omega-3, plant-based plant -based omega-3, right? It's a it's really rich source in omega-3 fatty acids, which support healthy brain function. And then the lavender, coriander, wild orange, and fennel are included in here because of their linalool content. And linalool as a compound is fabulous. It's, it's one of the main components in lavender, right? Um, it's fabulous for managing stress, sadness, and helping with that feeling of overwhelm. So that's why those oils are added in. Um, let's talk about GABA just quickly and what it is. And, and first, before we get into exactly what it is, um, this is a great graphic that was also created by one of our wellness advocates. Um, symptoms of low GABA. Um, it, I'm not going to read through these, but you can read through them and, and get a peek at uh, what some of these symptoms are. And, and as I've looked through this list, I thought, well, we're making a mental checklist, right, of, of what's, uh, what's going on uh, in our bodies and do we have any of these struggles. And so... Um, you know, are we a one, are we a two, are we a three? Uh, hopefully none of us are all of the above. Um, but, but GABA is really important. So, so here's the technical definition. It's a neurotransmitter, a chemical that facilitates communication with cells in our brain. It's naturally produced in the brain. It's used to transfer information to other systems of the body, specifically the central nervous system. It's considered to be an inhibitory neurotransmitter. Uh, because it works by blocking certain brain signals and decreasing nervous system activation. So the primary function of GABA is to inhibit activity of cells in the brain and central nervous system that are responsible for a wide spectrum of effects in the body, including managing behavior, influencing cognition, and modulating our responses to stress. There's also evidence that healthy GABA levels are important for proper immune and endocrine system function and regulation of appetite and metabolism. If you're having issues with managing stress, relaxing, sleeping, or even issues managing your weight, you may have lower levels of GABA. Okay, so it's important and it's there. And so this is helping to supplement the, the, the body's uh, GABA levels. Uh, we also have the selenium root, which is also known as kana root. And this comes um, from Africa and brings a feeling of alert serenity, supports healthy emotional response to everyday stressors, promotes feelings of happiness and well, well-being, uh, also uh, balances healthy levels of mood-stabilizing hormones, and improves cognitive function and nervousness, helps with nervousness. And so all of that from this botanical extract um, from this plant in South Africa, the kana plant. So that is in here as well. 
So let's go back to this slide here. <clears throat> okay. Um, lots of you are texting in stories already on this, so that's great. Um, raise your hand if you've got just a great experience to share on either the oil or the supplement uh, or both. Oh, man, lots of hands coming up. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go to Chris. Oh, you moved on me, Chris. Hold on. Chris Zimmer. Yes, Zimmer. hi, can you hear me? Hey, yes. Welcome, Chris, to the call. Okay, great. Actually, um, my story is about my husband. He's a physician. He suffered a recent heart attack um, back in the end of September. He was away. He was in Hilton Head on a golf trip. We live in Ohio, so that was stressful all in its own. Um, came home, thought that everything was fine. They had done a stent procedure, and a few days later, ended up back in the hospital here locally with two more stents. And doing fine, recovering nicely, but... I don't know if most people are aware, but once you've had a heart attack, even though you feel like everything is fixed and taken care of, there's a lot of stress and anxiety that goes along with that. Sure. And he carried the adaptive roller bottle around in his pocket. He, he went through a first one really fast. <laughs> he used it every day <laughs> in his pocket, used it all the time, was never without it. And then as he started to relax and went through rehab and was doing better himself, then he still uses it. In fact, he takes the adaptive gel cap every day still um, and has cut back on his use of the adaptive roller, but it's still there. He still has it with him. And so it's helped tremendously with his stress level. This is a guy who extremely healthy, worked out every day, ate great, and so his heart attack was pretty much of a shock to him as well as everybody else that knows him. And so the adaptive has been amazing for stress relief. Wow. Thank you for sharing that. That, you know, it's, it's a huge thing. It's a huge thing. Um, some of the stories come in. Thank you, Chris. Um, like Susan's writing in uh, that she has macular degeneration. And so she has to have a shot in both eyes every six weeks. Ooh, 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 that makes me twinge just thinking, just reading that. Um, she uses the adaptive touch to calm herself down before the shots. <laughs> I'm so glad that's working for you because that would definitely um, want to be calmed down from having a shot right in the eye. Uh, oh, goodness. Okay, let's go to my friend Anne. Anne, let's hear your experience. Hi, How are you? Good. Hey, so this is used, um, all of these are used throughout my family. I use the adaptive soft gels at night. I have found um, that they really work well to shut my brain off. And I don't have a care in the world when I lay down for bed. And so I have the same two-minute um, sleep time response that you do, and I love that. But my, the soft gels also work really, really well for my eight-year-old during the day. His teacher definitely sees a difference on the days that I forget to give him one in the morning. Because it allows his brain to slow down enough to focus on what his teacher wants him to focus on. And, um, and so I'll be remembering to give them a little more regularly now that I'm his teacher for the next few weeks. Um, <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> right, right. I will have a new appreciation. Um, but I actually carry that rollerball with me as well because I feel my stress in my throat when something happens um, I know that I have a 10-minute window before cortisol is going to take over my body for hours, and, um, and I use that 10-minute window to put that adaptive right where I am feeling that stress, which is on my throat, and that works really well. Um, I actually learned recently about the connection between gut and brain health, and, and I love the fact that we can reduce our stress, and that's actually going to make our gut healthier by keeping our, um, our cells tighter in our intestines. So right. it's been wonderful for us. Wow, I love that connection. And yeah, and I'm gonna be using a lot more adaptive as well at my home. <laughs> 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 I, I actually was joking with someone the other day, I'm like, I am not concerned so much about this virus. I'm concerned about my children being quarantined in my house. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> and so and now that's happened so it's uh it's definitely uh yeah adaptive to the rescue and if any of you happen to go to costco or any other big grocery store uh have your adaptive with you when you go because you know it can only help 
Oh, yep. well, thanks, thanks for sharing that. Okay, let's do uh, one more. Let's see. Let's try Sandy. Sandy Patton. Hello. Hey, Sandy. Um, uh, like the previous caller, I have, or not caller, but um, pre uh, person, I have used it um, right after convention. Uh, our group did kind of a five-day challenge, and uh, I used the capsules and was amazed that it helped, like at work, it helped me focus. I didn't realize that maybe I needed that focus, but it did definitely help with that. Um, and then uh, I wouldn't say that I normally have an issue with stress or anxiety, but probably in the last month, um, my job has been pretty stressful. I've been very anxious and frustrated with some things going on, and I do keep the rollerball in my purse. And um, I had a meeting that afternoon with a couple of my, my boss and my boss's boss, and I was not looking forward to it because I have been so frustrated. So I was rolling <laughs> One for the meetings. half hour before that. Yes. So I was rolling it all over me and, you know, sitting there and kind of breathing it in for a couple of minutes. And I was so amazed how quickly I was calmed down. My frustrations were gone. Uh, I was able to go into that meeting and do my presentation. Uh, calmly and focused and just uh, you know all those frustrations were just gone so i <laughs> i use it quite often now just uh just to kind of keep me in that zone awesome amen sister <clears throat> it's uh <laughs> you know it's uh thank you for sharing sandy um it as we look at and again this is even prior to all the craziness of these last few weeks right and and whatever is to come so grateful that we have options, right? And we talked about at the beginning uh, the ability to empower ourselves. And some of the some of the stories you guys have been putting in the uh, question box are, are just amazing. Um, I use all three products daily. My husband takes the capsules daily to help with throughout the day of work, high anxiety and stress. Uh, Linda says we need adaptive in a spray bottle for Costco. Oh, that's funny. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't even go in because the line wrapped around the building. I'm like, no, nah, forget it. It's not worth it. Um, but but we all know, and there's so many of you with your hands up, and I wish we had time. We could probably be here for hours just going through stories of, of what this product line has done. Um, just want all of you to know that this is an area of concern in our society, of great concern in our society, that is not going to go away. And it's an area that we can really help people. Um, sometimes as I'm meeting with those that are building a doTERRA business, sometimes they'll say to me, well, I don't have anyone to talk to. And I'll just look at them kind of with a raised eyebrow and think to myself, and then I'll say to them, I, I doubt you have to leave your street to find someone that struggles with anxiety or feelings of stress or having difficulty sleeping or relaxing. I'm pretty sure you don't even have to leave your, your block or, or you may not even have to leave your house. Uh, to find uh, that that situation be true, right? So this is an area that we can own uh, this market, right? It, it really is uh, amazing. So thank you, ladies, for sharing your story. Likewise, if you will send me an email, though, Tara Diamond at Gmail, we are happy to send you out a 15 ml bottle of adaptive send you out some adaptive oil. So please send me that email to doterradiamond at gmail.com. I've got your names jotted down here. And Krista will send you a bottle of oil. Okay. All right. Our time is up. One last thing. <clears throat> so we are in a space of wanting to protect our immune systems, right? And wanting to boast, uh, bolster immunity and, and uh, help things out. So the remainder of this week, don't you love that shield, by the way? Uh, someone at doTERRA created that a few years ago, and I thought, man, that's just a great picture. Um, the rest of the week, these are our topics, and please take note, and we will send out notice as well to everyone that's already registered. Um, tomorrow, we are going to talk about life on vitality. We're going to cover all three products. We're going to do it in 30 minutes, and it's going to be awesome. Uh, Wednesday, we will be talking about how gut health is key, right, Anne? She just mentioned that. 
So we're going to talk about how gut health is key. Thursday, we're going to talk about best oils for immune support. Friday, best oils for seasonal respiratory support, because in addition to everything else that's going on, it is the season, right? Here it comes. And then Saturday, we're going to talk about uh, supporting normal inflammatory response in the body. And so that's going to be our focus. It will be at 9.30 Mountain Time every single day this week. We will try and keep it to 30 to 40 minutes. And uh, these will be available for 24 hours only at justinswebinars.com. So um, anyone that missed this morning can go back between now and tomorrow morning and watch that replay. Or if you want to share that with anyone in your teams or any customers that you have, then uh, you're welcome to do that. So 24-hour replay at justinswebinars.com. Thanks, everybody. Happy Monday. Go and embrace uh, sharing and caring and helping people realize that there's some options out there for their wellness and well-being. So thanks, everyone. Have an awesome Monday. We'll see you tomorrow.